Our story begins in the 18th century in the Caribbean, on the island of Jamaica. Ravaged by British imperial rule, Jamaica was far from the idyllic paradise that the island connotes today, and instead, it largely functioned as a commodity for Britain's economic gain. From the 17th century, hundreds of thousands of enslaved Africans were transported to Jamaica, where they were forced to work long hours on sugarcane plantations, while facing unbearable conditions and inhumane treatment. In response to the travesties of slavery, calls for its abolition were emerging in the British Isles. Members of the Society for the Abolition of the Slave Trade focused their activism on prohibiting the act of buying and selling human beings, correctly assuming that this goal, rather than the abolition of the ownership of enslaved people altogether, would be more favourable to the government that they were trying to appeal to. In 1807, Parliament finally passed an act against slavery and the slave trade was abolished in the British Empire. Although this was a landmark event for the abolition movement, the act did nothing to aid the hundreds of thousands of people that were still trapped in enslavement in British colonies. The hopes of British activists that slave ownership would eventually fade away were proving somewhat naive. Enter Samuel Sharp. Born into enslavement in Jamaica, Sharp became literate and educated himself about world affairs, quickly becoming an activist for the abolition of slavery in all forms. Sharp got involved with the church and became a Baptist leader, where he was able to communicate his anti-slavery rhetoric to the congregation. His passionate and charismatic character soon earned him a dedicated following. When Sharp was 31 years old, he instigated a plan for a peaceful strike against slavery. He and his enslaved followers would refuse to work following their Christmas holiday of 1831, sabotaging the all-important sugarcane harvest of that year. The news of the strike soon reached planters, who responded by sending in military forces. Consequently, the movement escalated into a full-scale rebellion, the largest uprising of enslaved people in Jamaican history. 60,000 out of the 300,000 enslaved people in Jamaica were involved in the seizing and burning of buildings and estates. The rebellion, referred to today as the Baptists' War, lasted from the 27th of December 1831 to the 4th of January 1832 and resulted in the deaths of over 200 enslaved people. This document from the National Archives reveals the horrifying extent of the regime's reaction to the Baptists' war. It was produced by a military commander in Jamaica in the midst of the rebellion and is a poster that addresses the enslaved people that were involved in the uprising with damning hostility condemning their actions and threatening them all with execution. Despite the intention to punish the guilty that Major Willoughby Cotton states in the document, the rebellion persisted for another two days, truly conveying the fearlessness and passion of the enslaved people who fought for their rights in the uprising, including, of course, Sharp himself. As forewarned by the document, the response to the rebellion was brutal and unforgiving. Over 300 enslaved men and women were sentenced to death for their involvement in the uprising. Samuel Sharp, on the 23rd of May 1832, was the final person to face execution. While imprisoned, the words Sharp spoke to Baptist Henry Blebby remain as poignant and profound today as they were in 1832. I would rather die upon yonder gallows than live in slavery. In the 21st century, Samuel Sharp's legacy continues to live on. He is remembered and honoured for leading a rebellion that proved to the British government that the repression needed to sustain slavery would only increase with time, which alongside other factors, contributed to the abolition of slavery in all its forms in the British Empire in 1833. In 1975, Sharp gained the status of National Jamaican Hero and his picture remains on a Jamaican $50 note. The site where Sharp was hanged in 1832 has since been converted into a memorial square, ensuring that the heroic deeds performed by Samuel Sharp will never be forgotten. <laughs>